What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Evo RTG EA Sports gave us a team of the year SBC. It was rumoured that it was coming and there was three players that everybody wanted. Ronaldo, obviously, uh, Patrick Vieira, which would have been amazing for us, or Rio Ferdinand. They were kind of like the three rumoured players it was going to be. But EA gave us Petr Cech, which is actually amazing for the Arsenal Evo RTG because he's going to be the first Arsenal goalkeeper that we've had that's like a proper goalkeeper. I've already completed him, um, which is great. I've got some other Evos that we've done and stuff. I've, I've finished up champs. You didn't even see champs rewards. They're, they're just not worth it anymore. They were terrible. Uh, we're in qualifiers now doing some more Evos, but we're going to rebuild the team. And for today, we're going to play with the full Arsenal team. Every player is going to be an Arsenal player, uh, past or present. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to get into it. We're also, we have been using, um, oh, it's, it's amazing, first owner as well. We have been using um, Mohamed El Nenny. Uh, so this is the team. We're just, we're just jumping straight into it. And uh, this is the team. So Edison is now fodder, which is great. Petr Cech, one can now go. Goodbye, my lover. He can go. We've got Petr Cech there, Bosch. Uh, we are going to put a glove on him. I do like the glove on the goalkeepers. And that will give Petr Cech 99 diving, 99 handling, 98 positioning, 93 reflexes. We love that. Every single goalkeeper and play style. We've got in at right back, guys, uh, Ben White. Um, he's, you know, five star, five star, which is good. Not the fastest. Um, but it's not too bad, especially for qualifiers. We've got the 90-rated Saliba still at centre-back. Uh, he's got a cracking card there as well, just to show you with a five-star week for. We've got a... Oh, wow. I did not know I had that many games on him. Fair play. We've got uh, Jakob Givior, 89-rated. Of course, he's been Evoed up again now. And, guys, he looks awesome, and he is awesome. He feels a bit slower than he should look. Uh, you know, he's controlled, so he should feel feel fast. He's got insane dribbling, so he should feel fast. He's got 97 sprint speed and 93 acceleration, but he just feels a bit heavy. But his passing is incredible. His dribbling is incredible. His defending is incredible. And his physicals are incredible with insane play styles um, for us there. And then we've got Ashley Cole that we're currently working on for the Evo in at left back. Four star, four star. We've already got 135 games on this Ashley Cole card. I like this card. It's, it doesn't stand out, but it also, but sometimes that's a good thing. You know, sometimes you just get those players that they're not exceptional positively, they're not exceptional negatively. But this Ashley Cole is there for us. In midfield, we've got Tomat Roditki. I really like this card. He's only got 23 goal contributions for us in 42 games. But I really like this card. We've got the engine chem style. Great dribbling, great passing, great pace. He's got good shooting. He's got fantastic play styles as well, which is really nice. We've gone back for Martin Odegaard in the center of the park this time, guys. Um, we've got a lot of games on this card as well. Nearly 1,000 now, which is quite mad. I presume he's going to get a team of the season, which will be awesome uh, for us. Uh, we will endeavour to get every Arsenal team of the season first owner. And then in the middle of the park, we've got Mohamed El Nenny. Now, this card was going to be weird for us because I just wasn't sure if he was going to be usable or not. You know, he's got five-star skill moves, which is grand. He's got three-star weak foot, which is terrible. Um, he's got no pace at all. He's got good physicals and good defending with the, sh with the anchor. He's got decent dribbling. He's got very nice passing and good shooting from range. But he's actually got really good play styles. Ping pass, long ball pass, and tiki tack are brilliant. He's got flair, which doesn't really matter. And then he's got rapid plus and quick step plus. And I can't lie, over a short distance, which is what I've been trying to focus on with him, he's, he's all right. He's like, he's like, you know, some players are just noticeably slow. He's not. He's not noticeably slow. And so I'm, you know, I would love to know what pace he gets to and for how long. But we'll see. I'll show you in some gameplay in a moment. He feels genuinely uh, fantastic. We've got Thierry Henry up front still. Uh, five star, five star. Ooh, I love this card. Look at that. For I don't think I've had a player, maybe Pele, uh, that has had such a consistent goal and assist ratio after such a high amount of games. You know, every player has fallen by the wayside, as I say, other than potentially Pele, even Pele. You know, he's less, uh, less goal contributions and games now. A lot of Pele's games are as a sub, to be fair. Um, and and Drogba's, Drogba's been doing it as well, to be fair. He's 110 goal contributions in 60 games. I really like this Drogba card. And in fact, I'm going to put Drogba on the bench. Um, I, took all the, I took all the big cards out of the team, guys, because 
um, the cup doesn't allow you to have 94 cards, um, which is why Burkamp's on the bench as well. Burkamp was actually in over Erdegaard, but Burkamp had to come off for that cup. So we'll, we'll go back to having Dennis Burkamp in here as well. Uh, we've got Eddie and Ketty right up front. Really like this card. Uh, again, he's, he's mostly used as a sub, even though he's got 58 games, 46 goals, 16 assists. He's mostly used as a sub. Obviously, that perfect shooting is great. I've given him the engine chem style, which is great. I really like this card. I think he's a fun card to use. And then this Leandro Trossard card. Guys, tomorrow we'll find out. First of all, I really like this card. Second of all, tomorrow we'll find out. He goes up to a 91, and then we can put him into the uh, winner's boost and get him up to a 92. Two more physical, two more shooting. Oh, he's going to be amazing. He's going to be amazing. Um, on the bench, we've got Gabriel Jesus, Saka. We've got, I've finished Evoing. Uh, Yuri and Timber backline to frontline. I feel like it was a waste. I can't lie. In terms of being a good defender, he's there for it, right? Great physicals, great defending, good dribbling, great pace, good play styles. You know, aerial plus is banging. Yeah, he hasn't got anticipate, which is a bit of a pain, but otherwise really good. And for a centre back, having quick step is very, very good. Um, four star weak foot as well is nice. First of all, though, it's hard to fit him into this team because Salah and Kivior are just so key to the way I play. Second of all, the reason why. I didn't like, haven't liked him is because, because he's only five foot ten, and he only has, well, he has ninety five jumping, but because he's only five foot ten, he doesn't stand at the front post corners or in the box at all. It's Saliba that stands in there, um, which is a bit of a pain um, because Saliba only has ninety three jumping and doesn't have aerial or bruiser, um, and there was I don't remember who else stands in in there, but basically. Yuri and Timber was nowhere to be found. I thought, well, the whole point of having the aerial plus and power header plus and using him at centre back was to get the benefits of him at centre back. So what we'll do is we'll we'll play him over Kivior for a couple of games, so you get to see him as well. And the other player that we'll play as well for a couple of games, um, let's take Lampard off, is another player that I have finally finished evoing, um, and that is that is King Kai. Now. This card isn't very good, even though it's been finished evoing. Five star, five star is nice. 1,100 games on this version now. He's got decent dribbling. Passing's not very good. His shooting's not very good. His pace is okay. His play styles are okay. This, this card, it's a shame. And it's a shame for two reasons that this card has kind of fallen by the wayside for the time being. Because first of all, this left back high, maybe even in today's video, is about to get an evo that's going to make him five star weak foot a right back as well and with a good boost and he's actually going to go in at right back because he's going to be super useful over Ben White because he's going to have like max pace basically. But also, we know that Kai Havertz is getting a team of season live card on Friday and that's going to be the one that I want in the team. Um, so we'll actually keep Kai on the bench uh, and then this is the team. Now, in terms of where the club's at, guys, I have got 468,000 coins right now and I've got 33 packs saved at the moment. They're all pretty, pretty huge packs, you know, pretty good packs. Uh, I did try, the. it was on the uh, channel yesterday, I've got 32 packs saved, it was on the channel yesterday, I did try the 77 plus um, effigs packs, there's only five commons that's needed in there to get those 77 plus effigs, and you get two 77 pluses back, and I, I was hoping that the trade-off would have given me enough high-rated fodder to basically break, like come out a, like better than break even, it just didn't work out like that, it, was, it wasn't very good. So I think the play is still going to be putting the fodder into player picks, the player picks back into, sorry, the fodder into the exchange, the exchange back into player picks, the player picks back into the exchange, build the club up. Now I've wiped my club out pretty much of uh, all sorts of fodder because the 83 by 10s require 83s in an inform. Uh, the the two of the, um, where are they? The two of the 80, well, you can't see them, the 82 by 11 FX packs, they require an 85 rated team, so let's wipe that out. Uh, Peta check wiped out all of my fodder. And then finally, um, the 85 plus player picks or 84 rated squads. So, and they, you can do three of them a day. I got some good fodder from that. Uh, just a couple of 89s and an 88, which went into Peta check actually. And um, that has also uh, wiped out a lot of my 84s. So for me to actually get back into a good situation with fodder, I might have to start opening. Oh, that's nice. I know they're not worth crazy amounts these days, but I'll still I'll still pop them up. That'd be a nice little coin balance there. Um, yeah, I might start opening a few of these fodder packs. Probably not the eight three by tens. Don't know. I don't know what I'd open. To be fair, 
Um, definitely not the 8.4x10 or the 8.4x20, but I, I kinda, I'm going to kind of need to open some stuff to get some fodder back to restart the grind, unless I start putting into the exchange some of the more um, useless specials that we've got now. Like I say, not that I would want to put Edison in here, but you know, now that we've got Edison um, has gone, in terms of gold cards, what have I got? I've got Haaland, Courtois. I've got an 88 and an 86 to restart a little bit. Um, but in terms of specials, you know, we've just got specials on specials on specials. I don't want to put 90s, 91s, 92s into the exchange. because If EA do come back with a new exchange in a couple of days' time and it includes 90s, 91s and stuff, that's where we're going to want to get those benefits. But we've got plenty of 89 rated crud as well. Berbatov, Francescoli, Kuehl, they can all go. Um, I probably wouldn't ever get rid of that Hullet, but I don't know why. Neres once his upgrades are finished, but Acuna and Canate can go. Cullen, Grimaldo, Hector Bellerin, not Williamson, Ogbene and McKenney, Xabi Alonso, they can all go. Donnarumma, Dybala can all go. Uh, Renard can go. Once I've got the um, special pack from the heroes that we got given, Abedi Pele can go. We have got plenty of 89s. In fact, I could probably go and put about 10 to 12 89 rated packs in there and restart the process again, which I might do at the back end of the video so we can get some player picks uh, for it. But for now, guys, I'm going to go into some uh, Foot Champs qualifiers. Uh, just so just so you guys know as well, I only finished on 12 wins uh, this past weekend uh, for Foot Champs. It was a weekend of missed opportunities and, and big mistakes. I got to 6-1 and one, um, when it came to Foot Champs. And because I got to 6-1, and one, I said to myself, if I don't just throw some games now and cut the Band-Aid off straight away, I, I only wanted to play to 11 wins because it's been a long weekend for me with like looking after the kids, looking after Lauren. She's not been very well. So I knew I didn't have enough time to play like intensely and seriously the way I like to plan my games out. And so I got to six and one. I thought, let me just throw some games. So I threw some games to six and four. I left myself 10 games for Monday. I was like, brilliant. Just six and four, boom, easy done. Because I thought to myself, if I play and get to like seven and three or eight and two, I'm going to want to go to 14 and I don't want to go to 14. So I went to six and four willingly. Uh, I then got to eight and four. And then to like eight and five, eight and six, nine and six, nine and seven, ten and seven, and eventually got um, twelve and seven. And I, I didn't have any any chance even before I hit eleven wins. I didn't have a chance to get fourteen wins. Um, and it was it was crazy because I actually played some mad players, and I was starting to get paranoid that I wouldn't have uh, enough wins left to finish off the um, the ultimate champ stuff here. But I've left myself needing just eleven wins. However, this weekend. Uh, I will be back to playing my absolute best. We've got an extra day for champs as well now. EA have announced that it's going to start at 8 p.m. on Fridays and it's going to run through until now Wednesday morning at 7 a.m., which is amazing. Um, that's great from EA because it's going to give us a chance to see what the content is on Friday, try and get those Arsenal players in, get some Evos in perhaps, upgrade those and then play our champs games for our team of the season champs reward. And that's why we're going to want to play ourselves hard because... I want to get 14 wins minimum for team of the season, especially the Premier League or the live team of the season, so we can try and get that Kai Havertz. We're going to get new rewards updated pretty soon um, and for, for squad battles and rivals as well, which is awesome. But I need 11 more wins to get the Pro Red. Uh, I need just six more wins to get an 87 by 4. And of course, the 11 more wins will give us another 84 by 20, which will be amazing for that, uh, that pack haul. Uh, so that's where we're at today. And uh, yeah, I'm now going to go ahead and play some champs Ollies. I think I'm three and one. I lost actually the first game, unbelievably. Um, but yeah, with the full Arsenal squad, let's see if we can go and hit. Oh, I would. I wouldn't mind. Like the eight win rank would be nice, but probably six wins is where we're going to be. But let's see. All right, guys. As we get into the gameplay for today, um, just a quick question for you guys. Actually, like first of all, um, thanks as always for the support on the series. Uh, you know, I was I was honestly like this close and like you know this close to uh, deading this series. Um, we've been through a few ups and downs with it, being an Arsenal team, not being an Arsenal team, being a meta team, and, and just trying to find our feet with it. Um, and uh, it got to a point where the views were just so bad on it that I was like, man, I'm not enjoying it, you're not enjoying it. But then we kind of like found a new way, and that new way tends to be like a bit of live at the start, then some games, then a bit of live at the end with some post-com over the games. But the question I have to you guys is, like, do you enjoy this format? Um not that I would necessarily change on a whim if somebody was just like, no, horrible. <laughs> you know, I would, I would probably still take some, uh, take some feedback on it. 
Um, but, but the reason why I ask is because I thoroughly enjoy making the content in this format. And the reason why I thoroughly enjoy it is because I don't have to be live when I'm playing the games. And uh, that was, do, do you know what's crazy? That was one of the killers for me. Um, you, you guys are going to think I'm being absolutely mind-blowingly dumb. But I feel like I've got a bit of my life back the last couple of weeks because I'm not playing the games live all the time. Like if you think if I, let's say I even did like a 10 game foot champ stint, right? That might take two to three hours where I'm live. I'm not necessarily live on Twitch or YouTube, but just like recording live, which means I can't listen to music. I can't watch a streamer whilst I'm doing anything. I have to be like presentable. I have to have my lights turned on and things like that. And it, it, like with how many games we played this year and how much of it has been live, it was, uh, it was, it was getting depressing to, to a degree. Whereas now, some of the games I still play are live and, and on stream and stuff and don't give them. And I might do some live games and still put some live content in there. Um, but now it's like it's all post commed And it's so refreshing because I can play it any time of day or night. When it suits me, I can play one and then come back an hour later and then one more and then come back an hour later. I can watch some content or some streamers or some you know Netflix series in the background whilst I'm doing it. Or I can listen to some music whilst I'm doing it. And it's just been massively refreshing for me personally. Um, so don't let that sway you, though. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, Chris F22 says, uh, he always says a lot, doesn't he, Chris? He's always top of the top of the comment section. You guys must love Chris. Love that. Arsenal women won 5-0. If they'd have scored a sixth, Alex Scott and uh, Miedemar fantasy cards would have got a plus one. It is sad that they didn't, for sure. Um, they missed out just by a little bit. And obviously, Miedemar didn't get the appearance and didn't score either, which I was hoping she might have snagged a goal there. Uh, I think she's still just unfit. Um, but... Team of the season's here this week, man. So who, who cares, right? I reckon, I'm hoping, I'm hopeful for the combination of Arsenal actually getting some team of the seasons, the Kai Havertz team of the season live, maybe some Arsenal icons coming during team of the season um, and some really cool Evos. I'm really hoping that our team just <laughs> during team of the season. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. Uh, El Nenny from Simon says, El Nenny with 62 pace, quick step plus and rapid plus is just hilarious. Wonder how he feels in game. And this is what I was saying to you before. So first of all, El Nenny has the weirdest hairstyle. Like, look at him now. I'm using him to run with. He looks like a lemming. You, you guys ever play lemmings? Like his hair reminds me of lemmings. It's so strange. However they've coded it, they've coded it wrong. And yeah, it's just bizarre. But I, I think I'm, I mentioned this either earlier on in the video or I mentioned it at the end. Over short distances, like and when I say short distances, I, I don't mean just like one or two steps. I mean, you know, like 10, 20, 30 meters. Um, you don't notice his pace issue at all. And I think the quick step and rapid plus genuinely like bring him up massively. Um, but over long distances, he tails off. Oh, it, like it's crazy. It's crazy how fast he tails off. Um, Brandon says, you didn't miss an 82 by 11. It's repeatable once every two days. You are correct. I was wrong. Uh, Shuey says, of course, we, we had a debate, well, not a debate, we had a conversation about Football Manager uh, in yesterday's video. If you missed that, I, I, honestly, I urge you to check it out. It was a nice uh, a nice trip down memory lane of games that I used to play and some other gaming and stuff like that. Um, and Shuey says, the console version of Football Manager is much more simple, but just as fun, in my opinion. Maybe I'll check it out. Maybe I will. Um, AJ Barrett, well, isn't this hilarious? Because I was just talking about this. Love the commentary. For me, I love this game, but I don't have time to play five plus games a day. Literally, and listen, this is my job is to make content and the game that I choose to make content on is FIFA. And so ergo, you know, FIFA is my job, whatever. I don't I don't think it is. I don't feel like it is. But there's Mohamed El Nenny with an assist, baby. Come on. But um, and I don't get to play this game for quote unquote fun either because of the things that I feel like I have to do within the game. So I feel you on that one. Uh, and being newly married, congratulations, and working a lot, I don't really have the time or energy to play champs at all. I feel like this game almost forced you to play each day. If you're going to be gone for a week, you miss out on so much. Looking forward to CFB 25, so I can move from FIFA. So I, 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 I agree with you like 99.9% .9 of the way, right? And I talked about this on stream yesterday. You, if you like, I feel like if I miss out on something on a day to day basis, if I miss out on an 83 by 10 run or the 82 by 11 that I thought I missed out on, I'd be gutted. I'd be like, oh no, my series is over. It's ruined. What am I going to do now? I would feel like, oh, if I missed out on, you know, if I missed out on the premium red because I thought I got my times wrong and I thought I, got, I thought I missed a week of champs and things like that, I was like, oh no, I'm going to miss out on that premium red. 
if I missed out on the cup that's there right now, right, I'd feel devastated. And that's how EA get you. Because I also know for a fact that if I started a brand new account today, by the time Team of the Season starts on Friday at 6pm, I would be in a position where my team would be almost as good as everybody else's who hasn't put hundreds of pounds or bought coins or like traded and invested. My team would be almost as good as everyone else's. And so it's weird because I know that I can get that 95% team in literally like 12 to 24 hours of playing the game. I just know I can. But, and this is where EA get you, that FOMO, man, that FOMO. And, and what they've done this year that's kind of like done a lot better, that, that, that's worked well for them, but also something that I think we enjoy a little bit as well, is they've, they've given us a connection to our accounts now that we've never had before. And... The last thing I would like, could you imagine like missing a week because you went on holiday and feeling like, oh, my days, like I've missed out on so much. Maybe you miss an Evo or something like that. And then you look at your Evo team or your Evo players and you're like, oh, I can't start again. I've, you know, I couldn't believe I've got over a thousand games on the uh, William Saliba. I did not. I didn't think I had that many games on him. So, uh, yeah, I feel you, man. I feel you. Uh, Greg Ramage 6383 says, That Drogba is everywhere and taught me a new one every time. I love Drogba. In fact, I think I score from, with him here. Uh, I think I'm gritty on this guy afterwards as well. Um, one, of the, one of the disappointing games for me. Like, I, I, should, I, I thought I should have won this game. I went constant pressure um, to try and get back into the game because this guy was like, holding the ball a lot defensively. I got back into the game. I had already used all my pauses. And so I couldn't, pull, I couldn't like pause again to take off constant pressure so i ended up just constant pressing myself into oblivion unfortunately and ended up taking a late loss which was a bit of a shame but we went seven and three with the arsenal team guys i think that's reasonable i'm still trying to trying to like find my feet with formation and team and stuff like that and i'm just not getting there at the moment but let's go and get some player picks and uh, talk about how to still grind your account while saving packs all right guys so there you have it uh we did only get the seven and three um but it was quite fun playing with that arsenal team you know, I lost the very final game, which I feel like I should have won that one. But I lost another game, which was fair to lose. I built 20 of these player picks, guys. Um, I built four 51 player packs, four like 89 exchange packs. From those 89 exchange packs, I got an 89 Allison back, an 86 Trent, and an 87 Erdegaard back, and good 83s and 84s and stuff. Um, and then from the extra content that we had, we built 20 player picks. And although I do know there is nothing, or unquote nothing in packs, or picks or whatever right now i actually still feel like these are like the the same the same thing that we were doing during golasso you know the exchange into picks the picks back into the exchange and then just utilizing everything else you get to do team of the week picks is the play um and the reason why i think that's the play whilst saving other packs is because number one it's going to give you a lot of fodder to complete um all of the other content that comes out in terms of your gold cards you know you get so many 84s and 85s that the 83 by 10s are really easy the 85 player pick is really easy. We'll take that Cobell. Nice. Um, the uh, one more, the 82 by 11 is really easy. You know, it just becomes really, really easy. But the other thing that I really like about continuing this method is you get loads of Team of the Week player picks. And Team of the Week player picks are just absolutely blessed now because of specifically the last couple of weeks where it's 85s and 87s with 87 pluses. And the reason why that's impactful is because... You, A, get some coins back, you know, uh, you, you get like about 4k, 3k, 4k per run through if you just discard everything out of the packs. Of course, if you hit something valuable out of the packs, even better still. Um, but B, you end up getting a load of good fodder, which allowed me, for example, to complete Petter Check. Like I put about 20 informs into Petter Check. Give me that, hero. Come on now. Um, yeah, I put about 20 informs into Petter Check uh, because I just had them all. Like, so, you know, it was... Uh, it was nice and easy. Now, in terms of the team itself, guys, um, yeah, the team feels a little bit short uh, in, in general. Um, obviously, we've still got a few Evos to go, and we've still got a few uh, a few things coming real soon, real quick from EA when Team of the Season Live comes that should hopefully help. Um, maybe an Evo. Oh, 88 Bernardo Silva is a duplicate as well, which is lovely. Um, yeah, it, it's... One, one, one thing that I kind of noticed, because I've been playing the 4-3-2-1. Now, of course, you know, that midfield is a bit weak. There's no defense midfielder there, which is a big problem anyway. Um, ben White's not fast enough for right back. That's obviously a bit of an issue. And honestly, the like Thierry Henry, I love him, man. I love him, but he's just not good. And even though I keep scoring goals with him and stuff, he's just not good enough. Um, he doesn't cut the mustard, you know. And so 
I'm I've been using the four three two one. I still I, I still haven't settled on a formation. Like I really liked the three four one two, um, but I was just too bad defensively. I kept getting caught short, and it was costing me in games where I could have won games. The four three two one. I know everybody loves it. I know it's like the meta formation and stuff. I just cannot get on with it. I just I you know we went seven and three with it this time around. Um, but it's, it, I just can't get on with it. It just doesn't work for me. It's not how I want to play the game. So I think I'm going to either go back to the 4-4-2 or the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow or the 4 one 2 one 2 wide uh, next time around in the Rivals games because we've got a few other Evos that we need to do after Ashley Cole um, and see if one of those fits a little bit better the way I want to play. Um, I might also try the 4 4 one, one as well. But uh, for today, that is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.